We're not suffering today. We're just gonna keep things simple. And stay as close to home as possible because it is already colder. And like when the sun goes down, it's only going to get colder. So yeah, we're 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 not we're not doing we're not we're not fighting Mother Nature today. The only thing we're doing today is just appreciating what she does every day around like four or five o'clock. You know. Uh, but yeah, I haven't been outside to do a sunspots video. And I want to say most of the month so far, to be quite honest with you. And I just want to check like that this spot over here is walkable. It's like if I can't, oh no, I'm not going over there. <laughs> Hell no, nah, boy. We're not doing that. You know, it's funny. This is probably the longest that our local government has taken to like cut the grass in this field next to my house like usually we're in we're at the end of june this is the end of june we're headed into july literally july is this weekend right july is this weekend and the field outside my house still looks like a forest to say I'm disappointed would be an understatement, to be quite honest with you, but you know what, it's fine. It's okay. We will find other ways to capture today's sunset, despite the fact that today's sunset is kind of boring, to be quite honest. Like, I got so excited earlier today when I went out to put out some laundry. And I was like, yo, there, there's clouds. Like, I'll, I'll probably like put it in the picture. There was like clouds, bro. And like, not just in like one section of the sky, like the whole sky had like clouds and shit. And not like, you know, like thick and menacing clouds or anything, like the picturesque clouds. Think of like the clouds that you used to draw as a kid. You know, when you drew like a landscape or anything like that. Where you, you know, you like, you put your son in the corner and then you have like clouds, you know, to give your sky a little bit of personality. Yeah, those, the, like the cumulus nimbus, <laughs> cumulus nimbus clouds, like nimbus clouds. They were all over the sky today, literally all over the sky. And I was like, yeah, sun. I mean, you know, like the sky is looking great. It's got a little bit of personality today. I'm gonna charge my battery, you know, and go out and get a time lapse. So I did that and come around like three four o'clock about an hour ago i go out to put the, like the last bit of laundry and the sky is clear dog the sky is clear when i say clear i mean clear like summer's day clear and going on in this it's just the clear blue sky and there's no drama at all like <sighs> but then again we've been over this conversation before i've mentioned this before how much ow that actually kind of hurt I mentioned this before, well I mentioned before how much I just don't really enjoy clear skies during a sunset. Like even right now, the only clouds that are left are the ones that I'm looking at right now, but they're nowhere near where the sunset is. See what my, you see you see my face? The sunset is this side. The clouds are right here. And like Man, I just you feel me like I just want just one day one day to have clouds permanently fixated in the skies outside my house for the whole day and it shouldn't rain either because two days ago it was cloudy like cloudy as f right but then it rained all day and I couldn't go outside because during sunset, the sky was cloud covered. Never mind even partly cloudy. So like it was dark as hell and you just couldn't see the sunset. We actually didn't have a sunset 
one of the days during this week. And like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really just complaining for the sake of complaining about not having, what the hell happened here? Okay, where I'm standing right now, like here, usually there was like, you know, like grass and everything, but like, as you can see, someone or some people have clearly came through here and did some gardening. <laughs> some heavy gardening, which is, wow. A lot happens when I don't leave the house for like, three weeks straight but we outside we're feeling good we're not as sick as we used to be it's crazy like since the pandemic I've been getting sick on average once per winter <clears throat> we're not even through half winter yet and I've been sick three times already so very very good great the success I'm also not in too much of a rush today because I'm actually here a bit early ever since I made that revelation the last time I'm like I can't even remember which episode it was in, in like the Sunspot series where I realized that yo actually staying a bit longer after when like peak sunset happens is actually great for the video because it gets super super dramatic especially when there's clouds in the sky but there are no clouds in the sky today so it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens today. We're going to like teeter close to the edge of this particular side of the hill today. Uh, I've never been like, you know, like over this particular part, or should I rather say like close to the edge right now. I'm not sure if you can see it, but like it dips over there. You know, like if I keep walking, you see where this where this rock is here, yeah, I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna set you up here. But like, if you keep walking over there, you're gonna like fall over. <laughs> like literally, it's not like a treacherous fall. You know, it's not like Lion King Mufasa and dying over the gorge of wild beasts and shit. But like, should you happen to, you know, like trip and yeet over the edge, it's not a soft landing, you feel me? <laughs> it's not a soft landing at all. I think I found the spot for today. And I get to have like a little seat right behind where I'm going to be setting up. This is great. This is great. The only thing I'm worried about. <clears throat> Wait. Just gotta secure the pockets to make sure that my phone doesn't fall out. Because the last time I sat down, the last time I was sitting down, my phone was in my pocket and it fell out of my pocket. My screen broke for the second time. My phone's very short life. And I am not trying, I'm not trying to, yeah, I'm not trying to have that whole repair debacle again. I'm actually a little concerned about how low this is. Cause like usually you see like behind me there, we're pretty, we're pretty low in terms of elevation today which makes me worry about how much of the sunset we're actually going to be able to capture you know before it actually dips over the horizon and shit but you know we're about doing and trying things new things so i found my rock i'm gonna set you up on i'm not gonna lie it feels good it feels really good to just be outside again. Not to say that I haven't been outside since the last time I recorded the Sunspots video. I have been outside. I think like a couple of days ago, my sister had like a like a little impromptu last minute photo shoot in Jobrex CBD. I didn't take the camera with me that day, unfortunately. But I did capture some videos with my phone. Not something I really like doing anymore, despite the fact that I pretty much started, you know, I got my start using phones to capture video and moments like that. 
But like ever since I transitioned to using dedicated cameras, going back to a phone, it's just it's just not the same. You know, like sure enough, like smartphone cameras and smartphone camera technology has come a very long way since 2016, 17. But for example, I can't exactly, you know, like do this. If you've watched any of my videos, you love, you know that I love actually like doing this a lot with my lens. You can't do that with a smartphone camera. I mean, you can, but it doesn't have the same effect as this. You get what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> yeah. That video is not going to be on YouTube. I shot that 100% vertical. So that's that's going to be like an Instagram TikTok edit that I'll do. I'm actually thinking about starting a series, another series. Uh, yeah, where are I like just, I guess, use the phone. I mean, the camera that's in my pocket more than anything. You know, I'm just kind of like going back to the roots of where this all started for me on the high ski. I haven't thought of a name for it yet, but by the time you're seeing this though, by the time you're seeing this video on YouTube, like that specific video that I'm talking about right now will be out on my Instagram. I hope you've seen that. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I guess because this is already in the future, follow me on Instagram to see more of those videos. I find it very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable for me to like, you know, tell people. Hey, follow me or subscribe. This is why you never almost ever hear me say subscribe or like or, you know, hit that notification bell or anything like that. Because like, how should I put it? Not to say it's like, yeah, the content will speak for itself. I don't need to tell people to follow me or anything like that. But like, I look at it from my own perspective. You know, there are multiple YouTube channels. I want to say like probably a handful of YouTube channels that I watch almost every single day, or at least on a very consistent basis, that I'm not even subscribed to. I like the videos, I'll comment here and there, but I'm not subscribed to those channels, you know? And it's like, you know, you can, you'll subscribe if you want to subscribe, you know, if you want, if you want like a specific channel in your sub box, then, you know, you click the subscribe button, it's really not that deep, but I just don't see the point of, you know, telling you or reminding you, hey, subscribe, like the video, share it, hit the notification bell. You feel the need to do that you'll simply do that like if if the content or if like whatever it is that you're watching resonates with you in you know enough then you'll just simply do it you feel me wow i literally said that i don't want the content to speak for itself and then i went and used the, the most long-winded way ever of saying the content will speak for itself nice <laughs> but anyways look i'm gonna i'm gonna set you up it's a lot more than I actually want to talk about today. I'm in a very talky mood today, but uh, yeah, sunset is peak right now, so we got to do what we came here to do. And yeah, I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes or so, 30, 45, who knows. <clears throat> I'm just really hoping that it's not going to be too cold by the time we're done, because it's already cold. And I don't want to aggravate or invite flu back into my system because it's not completely, you know, like out of my system yet. But yeah, time to set you up and, you know, just, just enjoy the show that.
Nope. Yeah, we're just, we're, we're gonna cut it short today. It's a little too cold. And honestly, I don't feel too good right now. You know, as I was sitting here, um, I couldn't help but thinking, or like, I was thinking, that like, yo, I can't wait until I figure out how, wow, I just might need to take a shower when I get back to the house, it's so cold, but yeah, uh, I need to figure out a way to like, get a log profile onto this camera. The only thing that hacks me about my camera is that it doesn't come standard with log settings. I know there's probably a way to like load up a log profile onto the camera. Someone told me about it like I think when I first got the camera and I think I'm ready to try and figure that out because like what I used to do before is change the color settings to make it look like log. But then I found out that in post, it's not log because you know you just made it look like log, essentially. So like, I couldn't bring out any of the color that I thought I'd be able to bring out, you know, the way you can with log or raw footage. You can actually see that in like, I want to say like the last of the 2019 What Day Is It videos. Like all of those videos have like this, this like dull look to them. And that was me trying to like, you know, get like the log look without actually it being a log. But yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie, like this sunset, I'm kind of almost, yeah, why did I even bother? I'm kind of almost starting to appreciate, you know, like the, the blank canvas sunsets because like the gradients that happens, you know, especially like, just after the sun like goes past the horizon and the entire sky like gets painted with like what's left of the sunlight and it goes from like this it goes from like orange to like a purple and then the dark blue behind me and like that i like it i'm starting to like it it's nothing compared to when there's clouds but it's all right it's all right i think i'm growing <laughs> i think i'm growing but yeah it's a little too cold for me to like stay for like the whole time lapse so yeah we're just gonna you can you can already hear it actually like the cold wind is already like up my nose and shit. the longer i stay out here the more likely it is that i'm going to re-catch the cold again and yeah i'm, I'm not in the mood to be sick for the fourth time in one winter Honestly speaking, like that's that's just that's just the pits, dog. Absolute pits. But it's good to be back. Good to be back outside filming again. We're going to teleport to the house where I can probably end this video because the only thing I want to do right now. What should we do? Should I just end the video here? Oh, it's too cold and I don't want to be holding this camera anymore. So this is a bit of a, a shorter one. I know like the time the time lapse is gonna be a little janky because like I stopped and restarted it at some point. I've always wanted to like try. Because like what happens with, with sun with like the sunsets and like, like the sun goes down. Well because I can't change the shutter speed while I'm taking a time lapse, I'm kinda of stuck on the shutter speed that I left it at when I started the time lapse. And like after a certain point it gets a little too dark essentially like at, at this point right now where we're at in the sunset it gets a little too dark and you kind of don't see like I want to say like the detail of the sunset especially like with the with these types of sunsets where there aren't any clouds or anything like that to like draw your attention to so the last time I had like a, a blank canvas sunset, I thought, hey, maybe like the next time I am outside and I'm doing one of these sunsets again, why not stop start time lapse, you know, and like readjust the exposure and see what happens. So we did that today. I haven't looked at it yet, but 
I'm gonna look at it when I get back to the house and in post obviously and hopefully it comes out the way that I think it does if not we'll just keep trying tweaking until you know yeah we figure it out but um yeah we're done we're done I'm I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop filming now I make my way back home it's getting dark it's getting colder and I'm just not comfortable anymore so um, yeah hope you enjoyed today's video stay dangerous Yeah, I just realized that I switched, like my finger slipped and the dial that, you know, like changes the modes, you know, manual, blah, blah, blah. I actually hit that dial while flipping the camera around, but um, yeah, let's get it!